concrete where I have a microphone here somewhere. It keeps teasing us. You know, it's like, oh, it's spring. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, look, it's spring. No, it's not. Oh, look, it's spring. No, it's not. You know, that's very winter. Yeah. Yep. And it's uh, snowing. I don't know if you can tell that it's very winter. Every third day we get a snowstorm. It's very winter. Oh. My name is Keenan. I live in Kharkiv, Ukraine. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Spent a lot of my youth in Boston. Learned how to be a human being. And I'm very proud of that. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm getting a message or something. I'm running out of time. So. All right, because I'm in video mode, I, I thought I'd just show you. This is March 2021. My fingers are turning pink because it's so cold. So there's a person. That's kind of how cold it is. It's, it's, it's big winter. Obviously, it's everything's white. So I think I did the right thing. Uh, practice makes perfect. But I'm, I'm in it again, and I know what I'm doing. Donde esta? And this is where I get my little conveniences. This cassette that says, Que se at, que se So this strip of promenade is one block, and it's just housing. And then one more block of apartments like this, but there's little kiosks all along the way. And my favorite place to get shawarma is down there. And then on that third block is the metro station. So the tram stop is right there. Okay. You can get into the city that way or you can get out to the country that way. And then the metro, which gets you downtown. That's awesome. That's way better than these modern constructions because like I say, these buildings are built to withstand fire bombs. It's very Soviet architecture and structure. So it's all about modest well. So you live well, even though everything is modest. This is suburbia. You need a vehicle or a bicycle. I mean, a bicycle is a vehicle, but you need transport. Here, like this, I don't need nothing. I walk, you know? And then, so, neat. And, it, and, and you have to understand something. On the other side of that tree line over here in the distance, there's there's the there's the connect there's like the know, reservoir is here to that tree line where they do the athletics in the summer and in the winter like hockey in the winter ice skating in the winter and um and then on the other side is the actual Kharkiv river the Kharkiv river you gotta remember the city's built on three rivers Kharkiv and i don't remember the name of the other one we're nowhere near it. Um, they merged downtown. It's, it's, and it's super pretty. Like, when you leave the city, the city ends. Like, it's really creepy, actually, when your first experience is like, whoa, like, like there, like at my corner. When you see that forest over there, you got 44 kilometers to the border of Russia, and then you got another 30 kilometers to, I wanna say Volgograd, it might not be. It might be um, somewhere else. But yeah, you got like 100 kilometers of forest before you're anywhere, uh, literally. Like, you come over the, the hill, you're in the forest, 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 come over the hill, boom, small little village. What are they doing there? Who knows, they're self-sustainable. Remember, Kharkiv is a major industrial state, and the city itself has, you know, the universities for engineering and aerospace and, and electro, uh, radio electronics, um, and Kharkiv actually makes, and so a lot of the villages actually are very nice and have their own. Um, and the villages range in size from like 500 people to, like that's, a, that's like a town, but they still call it a village. It's a forced word from the French. Um, and I think that's honest. Honestly, I do. Oh, and this is brutally cold. I'm freezing. Um, and, and to the point where I'm starting to snot out. Um, this is my mask. There, I'm wearing my mask like most Americans. Sorry. That's my mask. So, it's purple. 
I like the colors. Yeah, there's a, a definite, sorry. Yeah. Um, you can't drink the water here because of the uh, uh, industrial pollution, yes, but the reason you're not allowed to drink the water is because of the Chernobyl and the, because of the Chernobyl and the, because of the Chernobyl and so there's a you had all of the Soviet industrial pollution plus the Chernobyl radioactivity which that kind of sucks the reason you still can't drink the water is not the radiation I don't know what they used but they tried to clean all the, wa the waters uh, with it and it worked it got rid of all the radioactivity you, you get real sick I drank it when I first got here not thinking like I didn't know um, and I drank it I was drinking it for like four months and Saida found out and she's like stop it you know never do that again so, I don't. Um, but anyway, that's the entrance to our quad. Look at this. Oh, isn't that crazy? That's like crazy big. Um, and they did, when they, you know, they did, they're smart here. Like, really smart. And, like, notice, do you see any trash anywhere? Where do you see the trash? See any, see any weird shit? Any graffiti? Any bullshit? Any vandalism? No. You know why? Because people care about where they live. Anyway. Okay, so I'll go in this way to the apartment. It's really cool. I love it. Um, but I, I just got to show you the, the monolithic, like, oh, 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 we will survive anything. The winter will not kill us. The French will not kill us. The Germans will not kill us. The Americans will not kill us. Like, I'm very impressed with this architecture. Okay? Looks like shit on the outside, of course. Naturally. But that, those, you know, the Soviets built those to withstand the fire bombing. They're like, okay, look what the Americans did to Dresden. Let's not let that happen. I'm in like an hour or so, okay? I'm like out, and it's really cold out here, okay? So, wow, it's cold. Okay. So don't even try. Um, yeah. So I'm. I'm. Uh, it's cold. Anyway. Uh, um, it's really cold. It's cold. Literally. Not even figuratively. You know. Wait. It's cold. Uh, it's really cold. I don't know if I've said that. Have I mentioned that it's cold? It's kind of fun. Uh, and as we say here, schmuck, schmuck. Oh. Anymore. It's not right. It's like smoke, but smoke. Or kisses, kisses. Smoke. Uh, cheese, um, ock. And now say chmok, chmok. Chmok. Yes. Chmok, chmok. Not chmok, chmok. It's schmuck, schmuck. Chmok. So you're schmuckable. Or oh, you're schmuck you. Ch uh, sh you don't need to do the. I know. Hopefully this gets to you. All right, cool. Uh, ciao. Hi, how are you? I love my wife.